Yeah. Six goals last night. Grody straps. Time, man. I gotta gotta replace these things. It's just gross. Yeah, because I'm sure the straps had everything to do with you giving up six goals. There's a floating camera talking to me. It just chirped me for how many goals I let in. Gross. <laughs> well, you know it's time to replace your straps. Well, they look like that. We've got some aftermarket straps. We've got some aftermarket hardware. You know it's time to replace yours when it's starting to look like that. Big importance, keeping your mask up to date, keeping your hardware fresh. Let's check out some of the products that we got to be able to fix up your mask. Welcome back to the Hockey Shop, source for sports. We're over in the goalie corner. I see it's been called on your social media. I still think of it as goalie utopia myself. That's some good, some great suggestions we so far. We should probably actually go through and adopt one of those. I, you know, I almost want to get a banner. There's one that suggested Cam's Creeps. Yeah. It's not a bad thought in terms of giving yourself some durability around here. You know, like job security if your name's painted on the wall. Job security. Long-term durability. How about long-term durability on your mask? That's what we're talking about today. It is. And we're going to talk about basically, can you keep it going past its best before date? What are some of the things you need to do to allow your mask to last a little longer? What are some of the signs when things need replaced? Cam's got one in his hands that he wore last night in a game that stinks to high heaven. So beyond the scent... And they do sm sell some products here that will help you with the scent. Yes. What other things can we talk about when it's time to refurbish a mask? When it's time to sort of just freshen things up? Yeah, the smell of vision's like working overtime right now. That said, I mean, as you kind of saw, even in that first clip there, uh, my straps are toast. It's definitely time. If you're starting to see elastic through your fabric straps, for example, pretty good that's sign. A, that's a great time and a great notice to be like, okay, it's probably time to replace these. The good news is, is that we do have quite a few of those mass strap kits. Uh, what I'm going to use is actually one of the uh, pro hidden harnesses. So this allows me to expose my back plate because I've got some paint on there that I want to kind of leave out. Definitely got to keep representing the hoser crew. Um, You're a hoser, all right. Oh, definitely a hoser. Um, these guys, I have regular standard five point. Um, like I said, I have the hidden ones. I have a couple different colors. Um, quick, easy way to just swap it out, show off the paint, but also too, it's like, yeah, like minor. They get pretty gross. Yeah, yeah. They get pretty gross. Yours gross. are exceptionally gross, but like they just get pretty gross. So that's something you can, you know, if you're refurbishing a mask, it doesn't even have to be a full refurbish, just like changing things up and freshening it up. That's one of the starting points for sure. It's a, I mean, the very nature of the way they make this elastic material, the stuff soaks sweat up like crazy. Exactly. So it's funny, we're, we're making this video right now as we speak, and it's literally marked to myself because I've... I've You've let that go a little bit. So, so first one, straps. What are some of the other things we can replace? Obviously, hey, cages, if they're bent, it's time to replace them. They've got a full arsenal of cage replacement parts here. So if you need a new cage, like that's the thing, it's like a bike helmet. Not quite. If you get in a bike crash and there's a crack in your helmet, like it's designed to fail once. Once it's failed, you replace it. If your cage is bent back to say your cheekbone or significantly <laughs> bent, that means yeah. that the next impact might be catastrophic. So once it's bent and warped, it's time to replace it, folks. They've got a full, like I said, a full arsenal of parts you can use for that. So cage, Correct. strapping, well, what are some say, of the other things? When you said cage, like, so Bauer specifically ha does have like a full replacement kit for their actual cage screws, cage clips as well. Because um, those tend to rust. That's the reality. Exactly. This is one of those ones that you want to offer. Or you take a shot, especially off those button clips off the top of the helmet, for example. Those can bend. All of a sudden, they're no longer holding on to the plastic clip anymore. Easy to replace. An entire kit for them. We do sell it from Bauer. It's an easy 20 bucks. These are great to have in your bag uh, as well. When you're traveling and things like that, hockey shop's not near you. You need to be able to replace these on the fly. To be honest, in my opinion, everybody should have something like this in their in their gold bag just in case. Okay. Um, so another one, chin cup. Again, <laughs> mine's uh, pretty grody. There used to be writing on there. Can't it, read it. it. It used to say XPM and pour on. It's gone now, so there's a good <laughs> indication. It's probably time to get a new chin cup cam. And, oh, you, and okay. you have them. Hey, we found them. Look at that. Once again. These things do get kind of messed up, especially if you're on the ice five, six times a week. Um, you junior kids, I'm looking at you. Um, I've seen some of the worst of the worst for masks. 
this is time. Definitely check yours if it's looking grody like that. The chin cups are easy to replace. They just screw in and out through the outside clips on most of the mask itself. Just need a screwdriver. You can do it yourself. Super easy. Or we can obviously help you if you're local, but that depends on where you're watching from, obviously. And if you don't wear a chin cup, you should probably rethink your life decisions because not having something that holds a mask in place is how you end up looking like this. Or even if you wear a chin cup and have too much travel in your chin cup, allowing a shot off the chin to push the bottom edge of the mask up into the tooth, again, like this. So, and it's five grand to stop looking like this. So highly recommend chin, chin cups. cups. No chin cup. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. A couple last things to cover. Sweatbands, always an easy one. Please take it out, wash it <laughs> every people, time. Hold on, come on. People don't wash their sweatband? Now, use those that are listening and are watching. You know who you are. Shame on you. Wash your sweatband. That's disgusting. Especially when you bring it into camp to ask them to replace your cage for you and you still have your grody sweatband in there from last night's game. Oh, let me tell you too. The other thing too, if you like, you wear a mask for a little while and then you decide you want it painted or you want it wrapped. I know the artists. One of the first things they say is, has it been worn? And if it has, they're like, take it apart and wash it and clean it. They do not want to have to work with your stink. So gross. Exactly. It is gross. So sweatbands, obviously, again, easy thing. Uh, we do have replacements. Obviously, I have a power one in my hand. I've got a multitude of different options. You got aftermarket ones? We do got aftermarket ones. So check them out. You got the ones that soak up the water? They, they, they all soak up sweat. Soak up the more water. You got the ShamWow? Actually, I think we've ran out of ShamWow. Well, you better get some more ShamWow. Time, by the time this video airs, hopefully we'll get this, uh, get that figured out. Yeah, because I just want an excuse to put the ShamWow guy on the video, but that stuff soaks up wow crap on sweat. I literally come off the ice. I have one of yours, your ShamWow versions, and wring it out, and people are like, mm -hmm. Infomercials aside, you want to check be wow any of these products out. Slap chop! You're going to have an exciting life now. Your bikini, linguine, spaghetti. Check it out www.thehockeyshop.com. Last one, Cam. 604-589-8299. Um, yeah, yeah. 1-800-567-7790. You're holding foam inside. So here's my question. What happens yes. when it's time to replace my foam? Bauer, mechanical foam. Can you replace this? Can you replace the whole thing? Can it be something that can be replaced? Potentially. Is it something that we recommend? Potentially, potentially not. Is it something I can sell you? No. Because of CSA certification. As Correct. soon as you change out the foams in a mask, you lose your certification. So um, at the youth levels, like, hey, like, like, let's be honest here. Goaltending's not cheap anyways. Um, I, the number of times I've seen parents like buy new pads, buy new sticks, like free and $400 sticks, but leave their kid in a mask that's old, outdated and compromised. Make, make masks a priority. We've got tons of videos here in terms of all the inventory they have, all the different options they have to make sure you've got a mask that fits properly and safely. When we talk about refurbing it, there is a best before date. Um, you can, they do have foam kits. You can replace liners, you can, you can change things. Um, but if you've been wearing it long enough that it needs it, it might be time for a new mask. Yes. That's the truth. The tooth that you no longer have. Right. Chin cup. No chin cup. But you can buy kits, like if you want to add some padding or you don't replace on an older mask, you can do it. You get a little do it yourself here. Just you're not certified anymore. Uh, yeah, this is a, it's a bit of a DIY project and it's a very generic piece. There are some aftermarket companies that do it. You can always go for a bit of a search. But that said, we do have these, like I said, generic places of home. So once again, you can check all this stuff out um, at thehockeyshop.com. You know what the best part is? Cam gave you the numbers there before. I did. Just call them. Um, he's clearly, he's in the Myself. process of doing it or, himself or your staff who are all thank experts. You. There are other people that work here. Yeah. They're actually probably better goalies than you too. Um, probably. and just ask him, you know, like, like he'll give you an honest answer. Uh, it's the thing I love about Cam and his crew down here. I've been in the shop when parents have come in basically wanting to spend the moon on new gear. And if it's not actually going to help the kid or there isn't a need for a new mask, I've seen that like, because the bigger one that's more expensive doesn't fit properly and won't actually protect them more they're honest about it. So if you've got questions about your mask, whether it can be refurbished, are there steps you can take to get more life out of it, or is it just time for a new one? Feel free to give them a call, send them an email. Um, they'll answer your question honestly, help keep you safe in the crease, help keep you with all your teeth, and help keep you in stuff that's gonna keep you protected. And 
a little less stinky than Cam is right now. Yeah, put that on. I don't see this. It doesn't fit properly. Get deep into it. <laughs> <laughs>